Tessa and I'm here and I'm here with Julia as well from Kid Made Modern. We're so excited to craft with you guys today. Um, we are going to be making these adorable little pom-pom bunnies for spring and Easter. Um, and just to reiterate what Lindsay said, if you guys have any questions throughout um, this whole craft, put them in the Q&A. Julia will be able to see all of those and ask me any questions you guys might have. Um, if you aren't sure what materials to use, if you have any sort of inspiration or ideas you want to share, put all that in the Q&A and we'll be able to um, chat with you that way because we can't see or hear you. So everything's going to go in that Q&A. Um, and then if you want to, if you're crafting with um, a parent or adult today and they want to share any of the crafts afterward, we'd love for you guys to share those on social media. Um, you can definitely um, share and tag us at Kid Made Modern and at Michael's classes. Um, and use hashtag go make stuff. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'll walk through all of our supplies first. So to make these cute little bunnies, we are going to need yarn. So I have some white yarn, I have some pink yarn. You can use any color that you want. Um, one of our samples is a little blue bunny. So you can make any color bunny that you want. And then we're gonna need some cardboard. So I just have a little scrap piece of cardboard here. We're gonna cut these into smaller pieces. So if you have a small piece of cardboard, that's fine as well. We're gonna use a pair of scissors and glue dots. So I have some little sheets of glue dots here. Um, also come in a little roll. You might have a roll that you got at Michael's. Uh, then we are going to be using some elements from our Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. So I've got all sorts of fun, colorful, fuzzy sticks, some little, um, strips of felt. We're going to be using pom poms. So I've pulled out some of my favorite little spring colors already that might coordinate with um, my fuzzy sticks. And then we're also going to be using glue dot or um, googly eyes. So we're going to use glue dots to put these on. And you can use any color or size. So you can use little ones. Um, there's colorful ones, really big, totally up to you. And then lastly, we're gonna be using a marker. So I just have a black marker here. Um, and I think that's everything we're going to need. So if you guys have any questions again on supplies, um, or maybe you're missing a supply and need a substitute, um, put those in the Q&A and we'll be able to help you. All right, so I'm gonna flip my camera around so you guys can see my hands and we'll get started. All right, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. So our first step in making our pom-pom bunnies is making the pom-poms themselves. So we're going to use our cardboard and oh, this camera got a little blurry there. Okay. So we're going to use this cardboard and we're going to cut this down. Um, and I'm going to cut it down to about a three inch strip. I'm not worried about this being a perfect line since this is just a template. It's basically a tool we're going to use to wrap our yarn around. Um, so I just have like a three inch little chunk and then we're going to do one that's about two inches. I'm going to do it a little bit smaller. And this is going to give us two different size pom poms. So you can kind of see I've got one that's a little bit wider and one that's a little bit skinnier. And if you don't have cardboard, you could also use um, even like a paper plate would work. Um, sometimes even if you have like a thin um, like a, a book or something like that, you can even wrap the yarn around that. As you, as we wrap this, you'll kind of get the idea of how you could use almost anything. You just want it to be thick enough that it's not going to bend in half when you wrap the yarn around it. Um, like a piece of paper is going to be a little bit too thin. So you want at least something that's like a, a paper plate thickness. Okay. So now once we've cut our little cardboard pieces here, we are going to start wrapping our yarn. So I'm going to take my yarn. I've got my little tail here of yarn and I'm going to hold it onto the edge of my cardboard. And then I'm going to wrap my yarn around the cardboard. So you can see I'm going under and then back over. So it's on both sides here. I just kind of wrapped it around that little tail edge. So then that holds it in place. And then we're just gonna keep wrapping around and around. And this step is 
very repetitive. We're gonna wrap and wrap and wrap to make a big bundle of yarn on our cardboard piece. Um, so if you are still cutting out your cardboard or you're feeling like you're not quite here yet, don't worry. You're gonna be wrapping yarn for a bit, so I'm sure you'll catch up. Um, and then as a reminder too, we do record all of these. So if you ever miss a step throughout the class or you wanna go back later to make more bunnies, um, you can always go on to um, Michael's classes afterward um, and find all the recorded classes. So I am just going to wrap, as you can see, I'm not really, I'm not counting how many times. It's more about a thickness that we want. And we want this to be nice and thick so that we have a big chunky pom-pom. And as you can see for our little bunny, I'm using white yarn right now, but like I said, you can use any color. So if you guys are making your bunnies a different color, I'd love to know what color you're using at home. You can put that in the Q&A and let us know. And as I'm going, I'm not cutting this off because we want one long piece. So I'm just kind of grabbing and pulling off of my little yarn bundle. And then again, we're gonna be making two different pom-poms to construct our bunnies. So this one, I'm using the wider piece first, the wider piece of cardboard first. That's going to be our bottom pom pom, the largest one we're making. And we're going to make at least one bunny today. If we make these, then we can maybe make two, um, but they're going to be the same steps. So um, even to make the two different pom poms, we're just going to make them in two different sizes, but it's the same exact technique. Hey, Tessa. Yeah. Well, so somebody's telling us they're using brown yarn and the other one is using white, just like you. Oh, cute. I like the idea of a little brown bunny. That's adorable. Oh, and then someone wants to know what kind of yarn are you using? Uh, so this yarn I got at Michael's and it is um, an acrylic yarn. So it's, I think it is Lion brand, um, but I definitely got it at Michael's and it's an acrylic synthetic yarn. Yeah, those are usually the best. So they won't like fray too much or anything. When you're yes. Stuff. Keep it acrylic. The acrylic is the easiest to use. Yeah, it doesn't fray. Um, it's really strong. So even when you tie knots with it and things, it doesn't usually break as easily. It's a little hard to dye is the only issue with acrylic. So if you want to dye your yarn, you might want to do a natural, but um, I always opt for the, the acrylic yarn at Michael's. That is going to be a fat bunny. It's going to be a fat bunny. We like a chunky bunny. Okay, so you can see here, I've got quite a good chunk of yarn wrapped all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. And I'm gonna take this little tail and just wrap it underneath my bundle just to kind of hold it in place for the moment. And now this is gonna be the only part that's a little tricky because we wanna make sure that we are keeping it all together. So I'm gonna cut an extra piece of yarn here. I'm gonna lay that down and then I'm going to pull this whole chunk of yarn off of my cardboard and lay it on top. So we wanna keep it from unraveling. So I'm going to put my fingers on top and then my thumb at the bottom and then just kind of push the cardboard through and it will keep a nice little bundle here. I'm gonna lay that right on top of my yarn. And then I'm gonna take this second little piece of yarn and wrap it around and tie a knot. I'm gonna tie a nice thick knot or tight knot and then double knot it. 
So now you should have a little knot in the middle and kind of two sections of your yarn here. So you've got all these little loops on both sides of your knot. And then we're going to cut all these little loops. So take your scissors and go in between all these little loops, go to the edge and then just start cutting. And let all of those little yarn pieces go. This is kind of the fun part. Yeah, this is always my favorite part where then you kind of see it all of a sudden doesn't look anything like a pom pom and then it's like magic all of a sudden you've got all these little wild crazy hair going on. So you can see now this camera doesn't like single colors. There we go. Um, okay, so you can see now we've got half of our little yarn bundle all trimmed. So we're going to rotate this over and do the same thing on the other side and cut all the loops. And then so I just kind of like separate them to see any little loops inside, continue to get all of those little ones cut. And then there you have this wild and crazy little pom pom. You can definitely leave your pom pom like this if you want to. So if you want to have um, a wild bunny, then you can leave your but your pom pom just like this. But if you want to give it a little bit more of a circular shape as a pom pom, we're going to trim this. And to do that, I like to kind of almost like if you're cutting hair or something like that, kind of hold a chunk of the yarn between my fingers and then carefully cut right above my fingers, making sure not to cut your fingers and just trim all that extra yarn off. And it's going to go all the way around trimming this. So you are just giving it a haircut. Yep. Just a little bunny haircut. So you can have a wild and crazy bunny if you want. <laughs> um, maybe yours has been frolicking a little too long and it needs a little bath and a hair trim. We can just go all the way around and trim all of this off. Actually, maybe this is my favorite part. <laughs> And I kind of am flattening out my pom pom. You can see here, I've kind of flattened it. So I can kind of pull all the stray yarn to the sides and trimming all the way around the edge. And since it is a circle, there's not really a, an up or a down to this. There's no top or bottom. So you can kind of flatten it wherever. And once you fluff it all out, it will look like a nice, little circle. Okay. And then sometimes I'll do the opposite. So now I'll flatten the other way and go back around and trim any other. And you can trim as much as you want. If you trim it really tight, you can cut off a lot of yarn if you want to and make a really tight little pom-pom. It'll start to even look more and more like these little pom-poms from the arts uh, art and craft library. But we wanna have a little bit of a shaggy pom-pom and definitely want to have uh, it be a pretty good size to be the base of our bunny. Okay, so then from here, I'm just gonna kind of shake out my pom-pom and you can kind of look at it and see if you have any other little straggler hair you wanna trim off. And there you have a cute fluffy pom pom. So that's going to be the base of our bunny. You can see here, just going to be the little body. I'm going to move all of this extra yarn to the side, sort of like little yarn confetti. And now we're going to make our second pom pom. So we're going to follow the exact same technique, the same steps that we just did to make this one. I'm just going to use my smaller template. So I have my first little piece of cardboard here 
made this big bunny base, and then we're going to use a smaller one to make the little head. So we're going to keep on wrapping. So again, I'm going to hold my cardboard, take the tail of my yarn, I'm going to hold it onto the edge, and then I'm going to wrap it down under onto the other side of my cardboard and back around the top and just wrap it around and around. Usually we'll hold the top here for the first couple um, times I go around just to hold that little tail in place. And then you can start just building that little yarn bundle again. And you can see I'm using this long piece of cardboard but really you only need a small square. So if you're using a smaller piece, that's fine. I do like to keep it kind of to the end just so it's easier to pull off once we're done wrapping. The longer one makes it nice to hold it, right? It does, yeah. It's kind of nice that you have this extra piece to hold on to as you're wrapping. And my hand's not in the way of this little yarn bundle that we're making. So you can see as we're wrapping it around, this is where you could really use almost anything. You can look around the house if you don't have cardboard. Um, maybe you have something that is just a nice little square piece that you could wrap things around. So definitely a lot of times use all sorts of random tools that aren't really a craft tool. Like my favorite way to cut a circle is to just trace a bowl. So go to the kitchen and get a bowl. So there's lots of ways to to use things around the house. If you don't have a certain tool, you don't always need to have a something fancy. You can just grab something you see that's the right size. All right, I need to wrap here. And this one goes a little bit faster since it is a little bit smaller. So I think we're probably pretty good here. I've got a nice little chunk of yarn again, and we're gonna cut off our yarn. I'm gonna tuck this little tail in, and now I'm gonna cut another piece of yarn, probably about six inches or so. And I'm gonna lay my yarn on my table. So I've got my extra little piece of yarn here. It's probably more like an eight inch piece of yarn. And then we're gonna pull this off of our cardboard. So I'm gonna hold two fingers at the top on both sides and my thumbs at the bottom. And with my thumbs, I'm gonna push forward. It's a little tight. I wrapped it a little too strong there. And then just push with your thumbs and push that cardboard out. So that way you're still holding the top and bottom to keep that little bundle nice and tight and lay that on top of your yarn and then tie a knot around it. I'm gonna pull it tight and then tie a double knot. So we've got a little knot in the middle and then so we've got both sides of our little bundle. And then we're gonna cut all of these little loops free. So taking my scissors, and just going right into the top of these little loops and cutting. I don't know, that still looks pretty fun too. <laughs> pom poms are one of my favorite things to make. They, once you get the hang of them, they're easy to make and you can make them in so many different colors. You can combine yarn to make a multicolor pom pom or it looks almost tie dye. They're so cute to add to garlands or wreaths or all sorts of fun little things. So that's what's always fun is crafting with you guys is then come up with, you know, now you learned a, a skill, you know how to make a pom-pom. Today we're make, turning them into bunnies. But now that you know how to make a pom-pom, you can do countless things with them and make them in a ton of different styles. So I always love to see what you guys make with these crafts, it's always inspiring what you turn them into. All right, so now again, we've got a crazy little furry pom-pom. You kind of see now pre, this one hasn't been 
trimmed yet versus this one. So this one's got all sorts of long, kind of scraggly little yarn pieces falling off of it. So we're gonna kind of flatten our pom-pom a little bit and then we're gonna go around the edges and cut all of these long wispy yarn pieces off. So I'm gonna give it a haircut all the way around. I was thinking that once you learn how to make a pom-pom, you can make a pom-pom garland very easily. Yes, you can even make a pom-pom bunny garland. You can make a bunch of these little bon bunnies and then string them all on a little piece of twine together. And now you've got a new little Easter decoration. I love that. I'm just gonna go around again here, just kind of moving my yarn as I go. I like to just fluff it a little bit and see any longer pieces. We've got a cute little pom-pom here. So any other long little wispy ones. Sometimes I can get a little mesmerized by the trimming portion here and keep trimming and trimming to make them perfect. So you don't have to trim as much. You can go as little or as much as you want to. Um, they don't have to be perfect. No. It's the best part. And there you go. Cute little pom pom. So now you can see we've got our two different sizes here. And it's again using the exact same technique, just two different size car of cardboard squares. And then you got two different size pom poms. So the smaller your square that you wrap around, the smaller your pom pom will be. So you can make a really big bunny if you want to. You could use a huge piece of cardboard and a whole ball of yarn if you wanted to to make a giant bunny. Um, so we've got our two different pieces here. And now we are ready to decorate these pom-poms and actually turn them into a bunny. Because right now, they're not looking all that bunny-ish to me. So we are going to tie these together. So I'm going to take another piece of yarn. I'm going to take probably about a little over a foot. You're going to be able to trim some of this off. But I always like to cut a little more than I might use so I don't have to maneuver a tiny little knot at the bottom. So I'm gonna take my yarn, I'm gonna wrap it around the center of my pom-pom and tie a knot at the bottom. I'm tying it tight and you won't even see that. We're using the same color yarn. So now you can see on the top, you can't even tell where we put that little piece of yarn. I'm gonna trim off my one little extra piece here. And I'm going to wrap this around the bottom pom pom. Go underneath and then tie it back underneath the little one. So I'm going to show you that again here. So I've tied on a string to one and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom pom pom and then come around to the little neck. I'm going to tie it together. You can also glue these together. You don't have to tie it. So you could always glue it. I might even put a couple little pieces of glue dots underneath um, just to make sure that it holds it in place. If you're crafting with an adult, you could also hot glue these together. That's an easy way to do this. So then you can see I've got my two little pieces together. So my little head can kind of move a little bit there. And then they already sit really easily um the pom they flatten out really easy on the bottom we're going to add some cute little felt feet to them but they do sit which is makes it easy to decorate them so our next step then we are going to add some little bunny feet so i'm going to take my little piece of felt here and these little strips of felt um, come this size in the kid made modern arts and crafts library you can definitely use um, paper if you don't have felt. If you've already used all your felt strips from your library, then you could use paper or cardboard. Um, that would work as well. But to do these, we're just going to do sort of two um, like oval shapes. So I'm going to just freehand draw these 
And I'm going to start toward the bottom and then I'm going to kind of go out at an angle and then round it and then come back down at an angle. So I've got a rounded top and then an angular angles on both sides, little diagonal lines. And then we're going to do someone else is using foam strips, which is a good idea. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, the foam strips will probably give it some extra support too. So that'll be really good. Because these little felt feet that now I'm cutting out what I just drew and these they will give a nice flat base to our bunny, but they're really more cute than they are structural. So doing them out of um, the foam strips or even cardboard might give it even extra support. Okay, so now I have my little bunny foot here and I'm going to trace the one I just cut out. You can just draw two if you want to as well. I'm just tracing them so that they are the same size. Um, but you can just draw two separately if you want to. And I'm gonna cut out my second little bunny foot. And I'm just gonna flip this over so you don't even see my little marker lines. So we've got two little feet here and I'm gonna take my same marker that I used to trace my little feet. I'm gonna draw three little lines on the rounded portion to make little bunny toes. <laughs> there we've got our little feet. We're gonna lay our little bunny down here and I'm gonna take my glue dots. So again, I have some glue dot strips here. You might be in a roll. You can also glue these on with a hot glue gun. Um, using liquid glue is gonna be a little bit more challenging. It will work, but it will take a long time to dry. So if you're gonna do that, I would suggest putting glue on your bunny feet and then placing your pom-pom on top of your feet and letting it sit for quite a while. Um, anything that's made out of fabric, like the yarn or the felt, it just kind of absorbs the glue, but doesn't always stick that great. So that's where the glue dots are your best friend. They're also mess free, which everyone loves. So I'm gonna stick a little glue dot on my little feet here. And I'm putting it back toward the end, the little flat portion away from the little toes. So that way you won't see the glue dots. You'll just see the little toe sticking out. So now I've got my two little glue dots and I have them kind of at a little angle so they go out two different directions. I'm gonna take my little pom-pom and stick it right on top. And I'm just gonna push down and that yarn's gonna stick perfectly to those little glue dots. You can see on the bottom now. And there you've got little bunny feet sticking out. Okay, so now we've got our little feet, we've got our little body, little head. So next we need bunny ears. So our bunny ears are gonna be made out of a fuzzy stick today. And I have these long ones here. They're like a full 12 inch fuzzy stick. We're gonna cut these down. So you could even use scraps if you maybe have some leftover fuzzy sticks from other projects, you don't need a whole one. I'm gonna cut this down. Let's see here, actually we'll bend it to get a good idea, make sure we're cutting it the right length. So if you want really big bunny ears, you could fold them and use the whole one if you want to, but I'm gonna fold this in half here, so creating a little loop, and then I'll trim next to that. So undoing this, this is about six inches of fuzzy stick. And then I'm gonna pinch the two cut ends together and I'm gonna stick a glue dot on the base of it. So I've got my rounded little loop here, and then I've got my two little ends that I cut and a glue dot. And I'm looking at your little bunny here. I'm just gonna shove the glue dot portion down on top in between the yarn, kind of pinch that yarn around the glue dot. And there we've got one ear, Looks a little more like an antenna, but we're not done. 
I've done this before with the glue dot. It works really well, just shoving it into the palm, palm like it's that. It's perfect. It's always a surprise. It seems like it should take more effort and it just doesn't. It just grabs on to whatever's around, including sometimes your own hand, but they come off very easily. Because I'm gonna take my other little half and do the same thing and just fold, create another little loop and then stick that glue dot right on my little end of my bunny ear. And again, looking at our little bunny here, I'm gonna take this and then just put the little glue dot end right next to the first one. And then again, I'm just gonna kind of pinch the yarn right around it. And there you see, you got little bunny ears, little bunny feet. They are looking awfully adorable. So next we need to add bunny eyes and a little nose. So you can do again, any sort of eyes. I have a whole little bowl full of googly eyes here. Um, I'm gonna pull out a couple. You can have them be the same size, different sizes, totally up to you. Um, even a lot of bunnies have little pink eyes. So you could do little pink ones. That's cute too. I'm just going to try to find two that are the same size. Okay, so I've got two little googly eyes here. I'm going to take my glue dots. I'm going to stick a glue dot on the back. And sometimes if the glue dot's a little bit bigger than your object, I just kind of fold the glue dot back onto it so you don't see it from the front. And then looking at my little bunny, I'm just going to put a little eye kind of right below each ear. Do that with both of our little googly eyes. And then just press them into our yarn. There we have yes. little eyes. Okay, so now to do a pink little bunny nose. I'm going to use a little piece of fuzzy stick. Um, you can definitely cut this out of felt. You could use a tiny pom pom, um, but I'm just cut a tiny piece off of the end of my fuzzy stick. So you can see there on my scissors, it's just a little teeny piece. That's about all you need, that little tiny dot of pink. And we're going to glue dot that on too. And again, if your glue dots are a little bit larger, like these ones are, sometimes I'll pull it off and kind of fold it and make a little glue ball instead of the full dot. I'm going to stick that on the back of that tiny little piece of fuzzy stick. And then we're going to stick that right underneath our little eyes. And just a reminder, if you guys have any questions or anything, use the Q&A and we'll answer them for you. All right, so we've got a cute little nose there. So our last step is going to be adding, of course, the iconic bunny tail. And I'm going to stick with a little blue cotton tail, just that matches my little ears. You could use any color. You could definitely use even like a sparkly one is fun. You could use any color that you want. So I'm going to take my little pom pom here. And then I'm going to just put it right on the back of my bunny to create a cute little bunny cotton tail. And then you can see there you have your whole little bunny is adorable and complete, ready for Easter. You can definitely turn this into, as we mentioned, a garland. This is a cute little Easter gift. Um, you can make as many of them as you want to maybe you want bunnies all over the house, which would be adorable. Um, so we've got all of our little pieces here ready to go. And if you guys have any other questions, like Julia said, put those in the Q&A. We've got a little extra time here so I can go through any other steps you guys might have questions for. Um, I can show you some different examples of things. Should we go ahead and make another little pom-pom? Do you guys wanna see that portion again? These would make little good uh, place cards or placeholders for um, a table or something. You that would like be so cute. Yeah, the little bunny could be like holding each little name. 
Yeah, it'd be adorable. All right, guys. Well, I had so much fun crafting with all of you. We are going to be back in a couple of weeks with more Easter crafts. Um, we are going to be making these cute little bunny nose masks. So these are a fun little craft to make together that I'm excited to be back with you guys. Um, but thank you so much for crafting with us and making cute little bunnies. And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye, guys.